Thanks for checking out Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. I'm Kurt, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Bushcraft Hammock Chair. Now, don't let the Bushcraft name in there throw you off. This is for more than just bushcrafting, and I'll show you all its, its features and functions. They are um, about 48 inches by 25 inches when all said and done, and they come with, by default, just a piece of paracord right here a five foot piece and this is where the bushcraft part of the name comes in so this would be for if you want to make a um, like a wooden uh, tripod chair uh, I'm not a bushcrafter I'm not going to attempt that because it'll take far too long and it'll just be a bitter disappointment but the way I have these sewn up is the top end has a narrower channel and the bottom end has a much wider channel and the bottom end is always sewn with the conflicting thread color to make it easy. Right out of the box, you can tell which end is supposed to be the seat. But in the bushcraft setup, you would tie this end up, put the um, your paracord through there, tie it to the top of your tripod, and then get a piece of uh, stick or branch that's been bucked down really well and smooth, and then put it through this wider channel and it'll rest on the tripod giving you a nice chair. But if you're like me and you don't have the bushcraft skills to do that, then you can use it with a regular hammock suspension. So I'll talk about the suspension options because uh, I've got two different versions of this on the website and I'll talk about those. But the, the best suspension that you could use would be a uh, like a cinch buckle and tree strap. So I got some tree straps here and I've got cinch buckles Right here with my paracord. Put that back in my pocket. And I'll show you how to set this up real quick. So you just take your cinch buckles, and these come already on the loop. You feed them through the channels. Just push the loop right through and just scoot it on through. Once it's through, you just use a simple lark's head, and all it, all it means is just take the loop on this end, put it over the buckle, bring it through, and tighten it down. You do that on both ends. Even though this is a wider channel, it works just the same. Do the same lark's head. Now your cinch buckles are on your hammock. So these two trees right here behind me are gonna be perfect distance apart. Um, we want them a little closer than you use it for a, uh, like your normal hammock. And we're gonna set the straps up a little bit differently. There's two different configurations you can use for the hammock chair in this method, and I'll show you both. All right, so take your tree straps and Decide which way you're going to want to sit. I'm going to make, I'm going to sit facing the sun. So the side that you're going to use for the back of the chair or the top of the chair, you want to put a little bit higher. Usually about head height, six feet or so is good for the head end. And then for the seat end, you're going to go a little bit lower than that. So I usually go three and a half, four feet. Put that strap on there. Next, I'm gonna take the chair. I'm gonna take the head end, attach it to cinch buckles. So in doing your cinch buckles, you've got your, your bar here. You always go, you get the, the back of the bar in the front. So you always go behind the bar. And it doesn't matter if you come down from the top or up from the bottom. And then, without twisting it, you bring it through in front of the bar. So it looks like that. And pull it tight. This allows you to be able to easily 
adjust it when there's no tension on it. But as soon as you put weight on it, it locks it into place. A little higher at that end and then same thing for the foot end bring that down just a little bit tighten it back up And then you just simply open up the seat. There you go. Nice little hammock chair. So this little setup is good if you want some back support. This is what I'll do uh, when I'm backpacking and I want to stop for lunch. I don't want to carry a heavy chair with me. If I got some trees I can do the setup with. The uh, suspension isn't really in the way here and it still gives you enough room where you can cross your can cross my legs. Just kind of lean back and relax and take a look at the surroundings. I'm in the middle of this uh, red pine plantation here. It's very nice. So this is just one of the setups. Now, you can also do this as like a bench style, and that's what I'm gonna show you next. I'm gonna bring it right about there. And I'm just gonna tension these equally on either side. It just gives you a bench to sit on. Just need a quick spot to sit or maybe you're fishing, you can set this up, cast your line, and you got a nice lightweight chair to sit on. That brings us to the, the next feature that you can do this with. So now what you can also do is in this configuration or something similar, if you've got your normal hammock set up, and of course these trees are too close, but and you've got your hammock chair, you can set this up underneath your hammock and use this as a gear sling. Put your backpack under there, your boots, whatever you might have you want to keep up off the ground. So this works great as a bushcraft chair, as a, as a back support chair, or as a bench, and as a gear sling. So yeah, it's called the bushcraft hammock chair, but it's got multiple uses. Now in the beginning, I talked about uh, uh, the differences in the suspensions. So I do, I do have two versions of this on the website, and it, to kind of clear up the confusion on that, there's the bushcraft hammock chair and then the ready-made bushcraft ha hammock chair. The ready-made option, they're the same exact layout and everything like that. There's no suspension option on the ready-made. It's an inventory issue with my store, with the Shopify setup, without adding some kind of plugins and making changes to the, the core function of the website, which always causes a problem. Um, the system isn't smart enough to know that if I only had the fabric for one chair, that that one chair could have either a suspension or no suspension so it lists it as two products and so somebody could buy two people could buy the same chair one with a suspension and one without i might only have the fabric for one chair but the system isn't smart enough to, to separate it so what i've done is instead of putting suspension on that page if you just go to the um, suspension section and order a cinch buckle suspension you add that to the cart with the hammock chair it with the ready-made hammock chair 
it will automatically put the discount on there to give you that same price as the Hexon. A little confusing, but that's why you don't see a suspension option on the website for the ready-made, but you do on the standard Hexon. It's all an inventory thing. It's confusing, but it's noted on the webpage. So hopefully this answers any questions you have on the hammock chair and how to set it up and the different functions you can get out of it. It's a lot of options for a little piece of gear. Hope you guys like it. See you on the trail.